Hello everybody and welcome back to basics. Today we're going to be talking about spotting. I mentioned this in one of my previous videos so I'm going to make this quick, down and dirty because it's not a very in-depth subject. I'm going to go over spotting in the weight room or with any weights, when you do it, how you do it, and when it is acceptable and when it's not. When you do it is any single time you have weights over you, whether that's over your head, over your neck, whatever, and you are in any way, shape, or form questionable on whether or not that weight is going to go up. When you first start, the weight is going to be almost non-existent. So having a spotter is not a requirement, but once you go up in weight, it is absolutely a requirement. When you spot somebody is or get spotted is when you have the weights. When do you spot for somebody? When they ask. It's just as don't make it anything crazy. When they ask. All right, if they're smart, they're going to go, they're going to see who's not working. And this goes for you if you're looking to see you to spot some or get spotted by someone. You are going to go up, find somebody who's not working out. Excuse me, can you spot me? 90 times out of nine times out of 100, they'll pull their earbuds out and say, What? <laughs> Don't be surprised when that happens. It's not they're being a jerk, they just didn't hear you. Can you spot me? Yeah, sure. Now, how? This is important because when you get up into higher weights, this next part is extremely important. When you get beneath the bar, say the bar is right here, you have your hands, but they're not touching the bar at first. You need to ask them if they need a lift. Getting a lift is simply lifting the bar up so it's where it needs to be for them to start the exercise. Once you have the lift, you just say, got it, and they'll say, yeah, no, or whatever, and then you release your hands and lower them under the bar. Do not touch the bar at this point. Lower your hands with the bar and then go up, but keep a good two or three inch separation. So if something does happen, you simply can raise your hands and grab it. You must use two hands. I'm gonna say that again, because some dipshits do this wrong. You must use two hands. You grasp the bar if you need to, and you raise it up. Now, if someone's fighting on that last repetition, it is all right for you to touch the bar with your fingertips and just take a little bit of pressure off just so they can fight that last repetition. Those who are into actual strength training, this is extremely important. This is what you're going to do, is you're going to burn out on that last repetition. Or two, sometimes three, I've seen it happen. But that's a really deep one and it might take a little bit longer for you to recover. Regardless, if something happens, you see the bar going the wrong way, it was not supposed to, you can simply grab the bar and lift it. Unless it is an emergency, do not grab and just yank the bar. Just like any other stretched out or flexed muscle, if suddenly you release it, it's going to hurt. You're going to pull and or tear something. It might not be super deep, but it will take somebody out of the gym for a day. The reason you don't want to use one hand is because it must remain balanced. All right. Other spotting, which you'll see on other channels, are holding by the elbows when they're doing overhead with dumbbells and things like that also going having it up when they're actually doing overhead press this one's not as as important unless they're going behind the neck because if you don't put safety rails up or put them in place before you start you're a fucking moron and by the way if you don't have a spotter around you will use safety rails if you don't know how to use them get a trainer duh i mentioned it in a previous video now that's how to spot. Never just grab with one hand and yank because all the weight will shift to one side. I've had somebody do that to me. I was out for a week. Don't do it because if they can swing their arms, they're probably going to clock you. They're definitely going to be screaming at you. Now, when is it unacceptable to spot someone? One, if they already have a spotter, don't just run over. Two, Guys, if a female is doing squats, don't just walk up behind them and say, I'm spotting you. Females, if you are squatting, whether or not you got safety rails or not, that exercise, if done incorrectly, can damage you bad, sometimes permanent. So don't be surprised if guys look, they're not just checking out your ass. Anybody who's actually there to work out is watching your form. Because as you know from the previous video, form above everything. It is unacceptable to go up and immediately just start grabbing somebody and say you're spotting them. Guys who do this have been dragged out kicking and screaming. Don't 
freaking do this. Don't just walk up behind a woman and say, I'm spotting you. And on that same note, females, if a guy asks, hey, can you spot me, usually on a bench, don't hesitate and think, oh, he's just trying to get with me or, or all that. No, he's not. He just wants a fucking spot. Because you're going to look like a total bitch if he asks you for a spot, you say no, he goes over to a guy and says, hey, can you spot me, and then gets over and does his exercise. You look like a total bitch. Now, you don't have to be super strong to spot, by the way. A lot of times, you literally have to pull only 10 to 12 pounds. When you get into the extreme high areas and you don't know how to spot, there's something seriously wrong. And that's when other personnel take over. We're talking about the basics here. It seems like there's a lot, but honestly, I've just covered everything. So you know what? This is your crazy uncle. I'm out.